you guys have a seat. Have a seat. I said what he did to me, and that's what she told me what it's still for, like what it, what steam is still for and stuff. And I'm like, oh, like that's interesting. What does steam stand for? Science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. Science, technology, technology, engineering, arts, and math. Well, number one, I went to the school, and I wanted to give back to the community that I grew up in. And so the principal, Ms. Merlot, is a good friend of mine. I asked her what kind of program does she need. Beginning, of course, it was rough, um, you know, trying to get boys together for a, a STEAM program. But I think once they got involved with the activities and uh, working with Nesby, I think the kids really enjoyed working with those college students and working with the different activities. If you have any questions for Peter, raise your hand, I'll call on you. The question is, why do you think ethics are important in engineering? I am a member of the National Society of Black Engineers. I'm Pitt Nesby. I feel like I've gotten so many good things from the Pittsburgh community, the University of Pittsburgh, and the people who've served me here, and I'd like to give back in some way. So the Josh Gibson Foundation came in as one of the one of my main roles as the torch chair is to help set up uh, lesson plans for the children in the Josh Gibson Foundation and introduce them to different STEAM principles and concepts. You know, the first thing I ask our students is <laughs> who, how many of you know about Josh Gibson? Uh, Josh Gibson is a famous Negro League baseball player, and I think some of our kids don't understand anything about the Negro Leagues. When I kind of break it down to them, it's saying that, you know, back in those days, it was a black league and a white league. And because of Josh Gibson's color of his skin, he wasn't able to play in major leagues. He was a prominent baseball player and wanted to find ways to give back to the community. And so this Josh Gibson Foundation has various facets that offer ways for um, you know, underrepresented minorities and, and various people to receive resources in the community. It makes me feel like relieved, like that like we can finally do things that we wasn't able to do years, like many years ago. I feel like it's really an honor to like be in the situation that I am now, being able to finish my education, because I know back in those times not everybody had as many opportunities as people, and especially African Americans have now. You know, when we do our orientation with the Nesby students, um, outside of the engineering piece, I also talk to them about how they grew up. They came from a single parent home, uh, a low income home. Uh, they were raised by their grandparents, because if some kid hear that story of a Nesby student, that can encourage them to also do well. So, you know, for our Nesby students, it's not just about them teaching the kids about engineering, it's also teaching the kids about life in general. I think it's a very important thing to teach STEM in the classroom because at a young age, I really do think that it's important to have children ingrained in their minds that the world is your oyster. Yeah, the world is your oyster. There's so many people in the world that tell you what you can't do, but at, as a young black man, young black woman, or any person. You can do anything that you put your mind to. I just want to make the black community like proud that I'm, like that kids can do this stuff. To make a difference inside this world and show that anyone can do anything. <laughs>